The word of God says that for this reason shall a man leave his father's house and cleave to his wife and they shall become one flesh. The will of God for your home is that you will live in peace and stability. But the devil who is the author of confusion does not want this to happen. You have to come against the devil in his cohorts and declare peace and prosperity in your homes. So today, we will be praying against the plots of the devil and his cohorts against our homes. Let us pray. Father, it is in the name of Jesus that we come to you, thanking you for always. Thanking you because the name is more powerful than any other. I pray that the peace of God will keep your family and make you united despite all the distractions that are happening around you. The word of God will serve as a comfort to you and guide you to the truth at all times. The word of God says in Philippians 4:19 that the Lord will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. I pray for you that the Lord will supply all your needs and will make you financially stable in the name of Jesus. From today, you will not lack anything good as the Lord will be your source, sustainer and sufficiency. Even when people around you are complaining and lamenting, I pray that you will not be among them. You'll be among the ones giving thanks to God. I declare that the peace of God that has been stolen in your homes is restored right now in the name of Jesus. I decree that conflict and chaos come to an end in your family. There is no more rancor and confusion in your homes. The Lord will lead you into the peace that surpasses all understanding. I stand as an oracle of God and I declare that all the agents of darkness that have been strategically placed in your homes to cause conflict and chaos in your home are exposed and arrested in the name of Jesus. I pray for your family according to the word of God in Psalm 23 verse 1 which says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. Using the scripture as a point of contact to your family, I decree that your family's needs are supplied. The Lord will always be your shepherd and because of this you wouldn't lack nothing good in the name of Jesus. I proclaim that your family will lie down in pastures that have been strategically placed by God for your family's comfort. Right now, I decree that all the devil has tolling from your family is restored seven times. And I pray that the Lord is blowing the minds of all members of your family as he is going to bring back those opportunities that have been lost in the mighty name of Jesus. I say this year is a year of settlement for you and your family in all ramifications. God's blessings over your family will become more tangible than ever before. The word of God says in Ephesians 1, 3, Blessed be the Lord God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. I pray that the blessings of God in your family will rub off in the lives of all members of your home in the name of Jesus. You are not cursed because the Lord has blessed you. I release the grace for you to enter into supernatural doors of blessings that the Lord has blessed you with. In Jesus' name, I say that all the curses that have plagued your family into darkness are destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. You are beyond being cursed as the Lord has made you more than a conqueror through his love for you. I decree that the agents of confusion and disorderliness that have been sent into your family subtly are revealed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. The powers of darkness that do not want you to live in peace and harmony are arrested now and sent into the abyss in the name of Jesus. I stand as the mouthpiece of the Lord and I decree that the Lord is establishing you on all sides and you will not fall short of all the good things that the Lord has prepared for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree that the Lord of all 
the harvest is supplying all that you need to live a life of comfort and pleasure here. And I pray that the Lord would open your eyes to see all that he has prepared for you and your family. I stand and I pray that the chains of stagnation are broken right now in the name of Jesus in your family. You have all that pertains unto life and godliness and because of this, you will not beg before you eat. You will be clothed and fed in abundance in the name of Jesus. Beloved, God intends that we have victory in all areas of our life. When Jesus rose from the dead, he gave us victory over everything for as long as we desire according to God's will. Doors are to obey you by virtue of your heritage in Christ. Join me as we declare open doors upon our lives in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, in this moment of prayer, we come before you with thanksgiving in our hearts, knowing that you are always there to answer us and not tired. We well, thank you because you are not a man that you will repent, neither are you a son of man, to rescind on that which you have said. And with our hearts filled with gratitude, we thank you, knowing that you will do that which we have asked of you. We acknowledge that you are the source of all blessings and opportunities and we humbly come seeking your guidance and favor as we approach the doors of new possibilities. Lord, you have promised in your word in Isaiah 22 verse 22 that you hold the key of David and what you open, no one can shut and what you shut, no one can open. We come and ask for your divine intervention to open doors that align with your perfect will for our lives. Because we know you said when we ask according to your will, you will do it for us. We ask the Lord in the name of Jesus that you grant us the wisdom to discern the opportunities you present before us and the courage to step through them in faith in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, we ask that you help us to see doors that look seemingly not humanly possible. That you give us the courage to stay within until we get it opened in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Lord God, that those that look like they are not important, but your spirit is speaking to us, that you give us the discernment to stay until we obey you in the name of Jesus. Revelation chapter 3 verse 8 says, According to your declaration that you have set before us an open door that no one can close. Father, we stay in the name of Jesus and declare that no door that you have opened for us will remain closed in the name of Jesus. We stand knowing that the enemy is always trying to buffet us, but we refuse to fall victim of his buffeting and we say lord every door that you have already opened for us will not be shut in the mighty name of jesus we lean on your promise trusting you that you have prepared a path for us that leads to our growth success and purpose and no one will take us off from it in the mighty name of jesus that that part that we have started no matter how it looks whether it's treacherous tiring or even confusing the lord no temptation would take us away from that path we ask you lord god you strengthen our faith as we walk through these doors knowing that you are our guiding step father we thank you because every day as we walk through those doors we will hear your voice and we will obey that which you have for us just like you gave moses a step by step on how they would go about the movement even for the 40 years that they spent in the wilderness. We'll ask the Lord God as you show us what to do, we'll be fully obedient to every of your instructions in the name of Jesus and no door will remain without being opened for us. Just as you open the way for the Israelites through the Red Sea, as recorded in Exodus 14, verses 20 to 22, we ask that you part the obstacles before us and make a clear path, Lord. Every Egyptian soldier that tempts to come behind us, the fear would want to grip us over it. 
We declare that, Lord, you will give us boldness and we will not be afraid. We will obey you and go through the parted sea for us in the name of Jesus. We declare the Lord, your light will shine upon us. As we move, oh Lord, it will illuminate every dark areas as we part and we we'll walk through the parted ways. We well, thank you, Lord God, that you are illuminating and dispelling any darkness or doubt that may try to hinder us. And by the power that's in the name of Jesus, we rebuke every spirit of fear that was standing our way in that door that you have already opened for us. We remember the words of Psalm 118 verses 19 to 20 that say, Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go through them and I will praise the Lord. We declare that our journey through these open doors will be marked by righteousness, humility and heart that glorifies only you in all things in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that we will not be proud and haughty knowing that the doors have been opened for us. As they remain open, Lord God, we will continually recognize and give you all the glory. Father, we surrender our desires and plans to you trusting that you know what is best for us. And Lord, for those doors that look as if that are open, but you are not in it. Lord, give us the grace and understanding to stay away from those doors in the name of Jesus. Lord, help us to remain patient, resilient and steadfast as we wait upon you always as these doors are open, even as we know that your time is always the best for us. You are, you say in your word, Lord Jesus, that we will trust in the Lord and lean not on our own understanding and in all our ways would acknowledge and you will direct our paths. Trust you, Holy Spirit. We trust you that we will hear your voice louder than the noise around us, even as you lead us to those doors. We trust you that the voice of strangers we will not hear. As the word of God says, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me for the voice of strangers they will not follow. Lord, we are yours and we hear only your voice that leads us to that door that you have set for us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God, because you are doing this for us as your children, as we pray in the name that is above every other name, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. If you are yet to subscribe to our channel, I'm imploring you with the love of God in your heart to do that now. You can as well share this prayer with your friends and loved ones. I pray that the good Lord will bless you as you do this in Jesus' name. Amen.